Okay. So we got a package. This is how it came. It's um, my, it came in a plastic bag. It's a dungeon in a box. It's a subscription that we picked up for my husband. I'll have all the links for it down below. Um, it was about 30 bucks for the subscription. And we're downstairs in my dining room so you can hear kids. If it's not the washing machine, it's the kids. So there we go. He's going to open this. Show you what it looks like because it's a cam. Okay, just for a Whoa, whoa, careful. I'll show him the box. Oh, that's pretty cool. You got it. Nice little box. It is a nice box. I like that. Does it have some delivery person? No, it was perfectly fine. It's how you ripped it. You did well, that when I you didn't did that. You did when I you didn't ripped do it that. open. Even if I did it. <laughs> Okay. Really, you're getting all. <laughs> so that's the inside. He's gonna show you the different stuff that's in it. Okay, let's see what, what we got. We got this. What is that? It's a little booklet it's called Voyage of Fallen Star. So it's like a what? Like a uh, a campaign? Like a little a mini little, adventure? A little adventure. Okay, it's a mini adventure. So. Hand it here and you can go with it. Okay. Oh, look, we got the printed wondrous one shot. This, we got the digital copies of these. Yeah. yeah. What's kind of cool is we got the physical box, which comes with all the digital content. So you get like all of the stuff digitally, like the maps and the little booklet. So. Uh, is this a map? Yeah, we got Oh, that's cool. Map for your miniatures. It is two sided. Two sided. Okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, looks like we got a goblin. Just, yeah. Oh, no, it's a little pirate guy. It's a pirate here. I don't know if it's going to zoom in on there. There we go. Cute little miniature that you can paint. Right. A little plastic miniature. Oh, cool. And then we got this guy. Nice Ooh. big crab guy. Kind of cool. Uh, it's, it's a hermit crab. Yeah, he's part of the adventure in the book. So there's, can you guys see that? These are pretty cool. Dragon skull hermit crab. And then we have the tabaxi pirate. That's what that is. So two miniatures. A little thing telling me about the skinny minis that are in this box. Oh, there are skinny minis. Yeah. They're an acrylic yeah. miniature. These are for the adventure. What are they? Pull them closer so they can see. And they're little stickers and markers and stuff to tell you different things about the to use with the adventure. Oh, to put on your map? Uh, oh, yeah, well, there's like little things that you can put on your map. They're like Here's some um, NPC cards that have stats on the back for you to Hold help, up help you run run your, run your the adventure. What? I was just saying flip them around so they could see. I know, you're annoyed with me. <laughs> Uh, and here are these little skinny minis. Oh, so these are uh, the acrylic. Here, yeah, let me show pop them, them out. Okay. Let me show them before you pop it. Jeez. And that looks like it has all the NPCs and, and monsters. And, and they're stuff. like double sided, which is pretty cool. You want to pop one out and put it. Oh, pop out and a base. The bases. They come with bases. Where's pop one out. Those stickers Just and stuff right that here. go in that envelope. Okay. Pop out a big okay. one so well, that I can show not, them. Yeah, pop yeah. It, no, pop oh, out a big okay. one so that I can show them what it looks like on the base. Pretty easily popped out. I'm assuming it goes in this middle part. Yeah. There. And of course. So these are like really thin, but they're like acrylic. Those are like really cool. Okay. We're not done yet. There's more. Oh my gosh, there's more. Okay, so we got another map. What'd you do with that? Another map. You keep grabbing this. 
Ooh, another map. And it's two Sega too, so. And I think this has to go, this one goes with the wondrous one shot that we got. I'm not sure. I'd have to look at the adventures. Here, let me show them because you're just. He's so excited about this box. He loves to do gaming and role playing and Pathfinder and D&D. &D, and this like fits right in with all of the cool stuff that he has already. What is this full up? Oh, 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 I see. I we have a cool compass thing. This goes with the adventure. Yeah, hold it so they can see it, honey. I know. It is pretty cool, and it's got wood on the back, so if you don't want to use that, you could just... And then... What is this? They have a bunch of these little... Is that a ship? Or is no, that... these are little, like, little... Uh, cardboard pop-outs? Cardboard pop-outs. Pop -outs. In this one you can make a basically a crate with it. Oh cool. So it's pretty simple. You snap it together like so. And those of us that have terrible hand dexterity can do it. So those go on your map. Put it on here. With your little miniatures. So for That's the pretty ship. cool. These are nice and sturdy too. I don't know if you can see like how thick that is. But that is a pretty nice thick piece. Cool. Is there anything else in that box? There's also this for the, the Oh, it's another the map. campaign world that they're using for the dungeon box. And it is two-sided as well, so it's like the whole world, and then you the, have the great sea, and then on the other side is a boat. These things are huge too, by the way. It's like, he's like, stop putting it in my face. Yeah, that's me. I'm sorry. So you got three maps, three maps, two. Adventures. Let me buy the physical copy of the extra adventure there. The wondrous one shot, or did that come? I wasn't sure. Um, I'm not sure if that came. If we bought that, or is this the one that we bought? This think, might be the one that we bought. I so we it bought probably it. goes with this. So these two we bought. Well, so I think this goes. Does that go with that one and this one goes? One of them goes with. One of these goes with this one. We bought it separate. And this we bought for, I think like $15, this and a map. But everything else goes with the in the box. So there you go. What do you think? Do you think it was worth what we paid? Yeah, I'm just, this wasn't the adventure I thought was coming though. I thought the uh, caravan one, the first one was coming. Well, I don't know. This I'll is what to, they said. I'll have to figure it out. I thought it was the first. Well, but for what we have in here, do you think it was worth it? Yeah, it'll be fun minus, to do. Minus these two things. You got two maps and... Oh, I like this. Uh, I like the, the skinny minis, especially because if you don't want to paint the miniatures, which the miniatures are nice. The miniatures are nice. Those are... Those pretty are good size. Pretty, pretty high quality looking miniatures. They're 3D printed miniatures. But yeah. You can tell that they're... But if you don't want to paint those, yeah, if you, you don't know, want to paint those, you've got those. Even then, I mean, you got, I think this is just basically every NPC on the boat. The detail's pretty good on them. Or on the ship. It tells it's you nice. a little bit about the miniature on the back or the, what they go to. It's a story circulate about the seedier dark dockside hangouts of the charmed captain who has come out of an impossible situation time and time again, miraculously unscathed. The captain keeps the fact of his multiple lives a secret, the better to further his legend, and because he himself isn't entirely sure how many he has left. Okay. And that so is what is on the back of this one. That's the captain. Here's a skinny mini of the captain. Let me see if I can do this in here real quick. Yeah, hold it up. There's the skinny mini. Hold it up a little closer here. I'll hold it. So there's the. I don't know if that's gonna. 
There we go. So it looks like he's a cat. And he does kind of look like a cat here, too. Yeah, well, is, sort of. Is, uh, I don't remember what this race is called. Tabax. Tabaxi. Tabaxi. And then on the dragon skull hermit crab. Oops, sorry. You almost broke my skinny mini. I did not break the skinny mini. It's acrylic. I have to really hurt it. I have to do something. This is, these special hermit crabs tend to take on the characteristics of the specific above they choose, becoming more aggressive or protective than they would otherwise. Sailors and other explorers that have crossed paths with dragon skull hermit crabs swear that the dragon bone shells are all but impervious to attack. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. I think these are pretty neat. I think it's it's worth it. How many of the skinny minis do you get all together? So how many are there? I think it depends on the adventure. But... No, but I mean, on here, you've got... One, two, well, three, four, let me count five, them. six, Jeez. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen skinny minis. So you got thirteen miniatures plus two that you can paint. Mm -hmm. And lots of cool little things. What is that? It's like a, like a tomb or something. I don't know. I'm going to show them what I you're doing. I think it's like a, it's a little thing for the dungeon or whatever, oh, and it has these things. arrows that you can put in the slots. Oh, okay, yeah. No, I think, does the arrow point go in or does that part go in? Yeah. Careful. I think it goes in like that. Well, I think you have to open it a little before pushing it in so you don't bend it. But yeah, so this is, if you're looking, like, if you like to do role-playing D20s type stuff. Well, I'll work with other stuff, too. Well, that's what I just said. Well, you said Oh, D20. there's like another there's, little There's other role-playing games besides just D20. I wasn't done talking. Well, I've barely been able to talk, so. Well, this isn't about you. It's about opening this. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> But it is a neat little, I love this. It's interesting, all of my um, subscription have boxes have all come in a box, an outer set, an outer box, and then you open it up and then there's the box that you have and you're shaking the camera. And uh, so, d don't do that, stop it. And then this one just came in like a very thin piece of plastic. See, plastic. So, and so you got to see what the box looks like itself. I think that's pretty ingenious. I like it. He can use this for other stuff. Oh, like table thing. Well, put it up closer so they can see. Well, <laughs> you're just being a butthead. It has food on it. So it's like a cool little table thing. That's pretty neat. How would you say these compare to some of the stuff that you have 3D printed? The all these miniatures or these? No, I'm talking about like the little cutout things. How do you compare them to what you have 3D printed? I don't know. About it the depends. same quality? Well, I mean, it's cardboard. It's not plastic. I mean, it's but... nice, nice cardboard. It's not. I don't think it's gonna bend too easily unless you. Really I mean, try. in comparison to what you've 3D printed, are you pretty happy with how these are? Yeah. That's a, is that a yes or a no? Yeah. Okay. They got to hear you and stuff. I know you didn't want to do this, but I wanted to show you guys this because it's something different. And if you like to role play, which my husband really likes to role play. I mean, he has tons and tons of role playing, playing books. We've got like Star Wars and some Star Trek, I think. And there's Pathfinder and um, what is the other one? No, no, but the other one. Other or what? 3.5. What is that? And that's still D&D. &D. D &D. Well, I I didn't say that, though. I said Pathfinder, which is not D&D. &D. No. They're different books. It, Pathfinder is pretty much D&D. &D. It's just... What other systems do you have? You else. have... You've got, like, D20 systems. You've got... Well... D20. What is the one that uh, yeah. the magic guy is... Dresden Files, that's yeah. a fate system. I don't fate got the newest, newest one, but I, I got one of them. 
So yeah, if you're if you like to have props and stuff, I think that this is a good um, box to get. I think it's way worth it because um, I know just getting like these little punch out things and maps can be kind of expensive if you're ordering them online or buying them at um, a store. I mean, just just for one map, you're looking at like between ten to fifteen dollars, depending on what it's for. For these double-sided maps, sometimes you can pay more. The box itself was. Uh, One of these. They're nice. They're two-sided. Yeah. And that's the same quality as some of the ones. Most of the ones that you're talking about all are. Uh, no, no, I'm talking about the. Right on and stuff though with dryers. No, no. I don't think. No, those you can. I'm not talking about those. These are not. These are just like the ones you usually get. One or two of these in a package. The last time I was at a game store, and it was like between 10 to 15 bucks. 10 for one map, and then it was 15 or 20 for two. And they were not the right on ones. Those ones were like 20 bucks or more a piece. Hmm. And those didn't have printed stuff. They were just your I basic think map. I think you're gaslighting me. I'm not, but whatever. My husband likes to say I'm constantly gaslighting him. I don't know what that word means. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. And these these little acrylic ones, I'm pretty impressed. Now I have we have gotten like like this little dude is so cool. We have gotten like uh the ones that are just cardboard and one sided. They're usually not two-sided. And those have been pretty interesting. But I like these ones because you can, like, they're double-sided. So wherever they're at, you know what they are. So with the cardboard ones, if they were flipped around and they're all, you know, all of the pieces are about the same size, it's kind of hard to know. So I really, really like these. I think these alone were worth the box, personally. Because if you were to... I wouldn't pay 30 bucks for those alone. Well, he wouldn't. I think they're cool <laughs> enough that I would. So, anywho, we're going to go. I just wanted to say, wanted to show you guys this. And this is something that we're going to be doing monthly. So, hopefully you guys like it. Excuse me. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Say bye, dear. Goodbye.